Welcome to Tranquility Based Detailing. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at three different foam lances to find out which one is the one you should spend your money on. Stick around to the end where we'll tell you which is the best. So first up is the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. Uh, so this one features just to note so of course it's got the wide bottled uh, wide bottomed bottle which is becoming more and more common uh, just to avoid any tip over the bottle itself of course we have all the uh, dilution markers on the side so it's marked up at 500 and one liter there same on that one but with indices at every 100 mark as well Uh, nice feature on this one is the weighted feed tube a little ball bearing with the filter set just there uh, so of course if we are for some reason doing some sort of sideways snow foaming that's going to help us to make sure we're still getting fluid drawn through uh, regular fan adjustment there uh, and then the unique feature on this one is the quick release to get to the gauze now this one once you've slackened it off it still feels a bit stiff and that is because there is an o-ring set inside here um, but then your gauze is just there this one came with two gauzes and a replacement uh, orifice nozzle so just underneath the gauze here there is the orifice so depending on the pressure of your pressure washer uh, you can swap one out for the other and it's a difference i think of 0.2 millimeters on the orifice so just depending on how many bars your pressure washer runs this is going to allow you just to fine tune that to suit. Other than that, relatively standard looking uh, controls. So same adjustability knob that is on the top. This is the O-ring that's just a little bit stiff to seat, but once you're there, it will screw in nicely. But yeah, regular adjustability on the top. So pretty par for the course for these things. It's got a couple little pressure uh, valves. So not quite sure why they're needed, um, but I've never seen those before. Again, possibly an unnecessary feature, who knows? And then everything is branded MJJC, so it's uh, laser engraved here into the brass. Uh, it is in smaller detail just on the collar of this uh, red part here. Uh, and then that's everything. So uh, quite a nicely specced lance all round. Let's see how it performs at delivering us some nice thick foam. So, shook the foam up as you should with any new product, and then we're going to put 50 mil just there. Thank you, thank you. And we've got 450 on the water. And then for those that have this issue, it's always recommended to put the water in first before the solution to stop it foaming out the top of the bottle. And we will for full consistency be doing the exact same dilution ratio in all three of the foam lances. Thank you. 
So after three minutes of dwell time, this is how much is left on the car. Uh, and then next up is the Auto Glim Polar Blaster. Uh, so again, wide on the bottle, not quite as wide as the MJ uh, JC, but enough to give you a nice solid base uh, and avoid any tip over. Uh, regular feed tube on this one, so missing that weighted feed uh, that was on the MJ JC. Um, both of them fit to the bottom of the bottle, uh, so just as a small detail to check, they've not come up short at that one. Uh, regular adjustment here for the foam as well as here so pretty standard on that one and this one comes with the quick release included uh, something that the MJJC did not have um, and then on this and supplied from Auto Glim it's then got uh, the mated part for the pressure washer um, just for this to clip into as well so nice that they've thought through for those that are already using the quick release and uh, the fact that it comes with the attachment for the appropriate pressure washer uh, is a nice little touch as well. We are completely missing on the bottle any indication of how much is in there so naturally this is going to be a one litre bottle um, but it's nowhere to be seen on the bottle as to how much you've put in there so you're going to have to do all of your measuring in jug uh, before you apply it into here. Neat little touch that they've told you how much you need to apply of their polar range. So recommended polar blast one to five, wash one to one and seal 40 mil to 200. Um, which is a little bit weird uh, that they've put that. I guess it's because you don't need the full one liter that you'll fit into here. Um, but it would have been just as easy for them to uh, say that it is five to one, but maximum 200 mil. Um, regardless, it's uh, nice that it's on there. It's going to stop you having to reach for the box or bottle of the product that you're putting in. So that's the Auto Glimp. Let's see how it deals with foaming up the car right now. Again, this is after three minutes of dwell time on the auto glim side. Noted a more creamy foam. The bubble seemed uh, a lot finer, and that seems to have aided with the improved dwell time from the auto glim lamps. Uh, and finally we have the MTM lamps. Uh, so with this one, uh, again adjustability with the foam here, as well as being able to adjust from horizontal to vertical, which is a feature that the MJJC has, the Auto Glim one is missing. Uh, regular adjustment on the top and comes with a quick release, um, which we think is an option, but again, nice that it comes with it. This is the slightly older bottle, so not a wide bottom, so tip over is a distinct possibility with this one. It has the dilutions on the side, so everything's marked up there in uh, 50s, 50 mil increments, 255, 750 and 1 litre marked up at the top clearly. Feed tube, not weighted, but again long enough to reach the bottom of the bottle, uh, so no issues, no worries there. 
and unique from the other two in that I believe this is an aluminium uh, construction where the other two are a brass. Uh, so again, uh, whether or not that provides a longer lifespan is to be known, um, but again, a little differentiating factor for this one. Uh, let's see how it finds up on the car. MTM after three minutes of well. Game noted a slightly creamier foam, so more akin to the Auto Grin than the MJJC. All told, very similar dwell time or closer dwell time between the MTM and the Auto Glim. Uh, I feel that the MJJC foam. Faster. So those are our three lances tried and tested, but which one was the best, which was the worst? In third place, we're going to put the Auto Glim Lance. At £40 it is the cheapest of the three that we've tested here today, and it does come with some nice features. The wide bottom on the bottle and the quick release, just to mention too. However, it is missing the indices on the side of the bottle and the ability to go from vertical to horizontal uh, foam patterning does go against it. It is a nice and robust lance and it's often available at places as simple as Halfords so accessibility is very straightforward. Again things that are in its credit but against the other two it does come in last place. In second we're going to give that to the MTM lance. It comes in at a shade under £50 so it is the most expensive of the three that are reviewed here today. It does have some features we like, like the adjustability from vertical to horizontal on the foam spray, and it is really well built. It's the only one not engineered out of brass, so it is robust, it's well put together, and it certainly should last well. However, it is missing some of the features that the MTM Lance does have, so that does count against it. The foam on this one was of a creamier consistency, which did give it a longer dwell time than the MJJC, However, we didn't think that there was enough of a difference to really push this one into first place. So that means our winner in today's test is the MJJC. At current time of recording, it prices a shade over £43, so a little bit less than one and a little bit more than the other puts it right at that sweet spot. For us, it just carried more features than the other two. So to list them, it does have the wide-bottomed bottle like the Auto Glim but it also has a weighted feeder tube that the other two are missing. The dilution markers are right on the side of the bottle where you'd want them. It can go from vertical to horizontal foam pattern without any trouble whatsoever, and it does pr uh, produce a nice, thick, consistent foam, which although it moved a little bit faster than the other two, for us that wasn't an issue as it certainly did wet the panel nicely as well. It comes with the extra gauze and it does come with an extra orifice so you can fine tune it for your own pressure washer. Again, we thought these were nice little touches. And the real uh, addition to this, which the other two did not compete with, is the easy access to the gauze. I'll show a picture just up on screen now to show you how much crud got into the gauze on this on the very first go of using. Uh, and the fact that you can get into it with just a quick unscrew, rinse that through and then just reseat it for us is a godsend and it's something that should produce a longer lasting lance and a better foam consistency over more uses. For us, the links are all down below. If you think we're wrong or you want to check any of them out, please do. And how did you think of our test? Do you think we were thorough enough and we hit all the key points? Again, let us know in the comment section below. But for now, if you're looking for a simple, which one should I buy out of these three? The answer is the MJJC. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, ask, and if not, then be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and catch us soon on the channel for more detail-related videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.